let's come back again with my new video of English class 6 part 2 chapter 4 the old clock shop Christmas Eve has arrived at last minute shopkeeper was going home a thick white sheet of snow layer over Salt Lake City USA yet the lights were still burning in the old clock shop as Ray its old deaf owner worked on a clock he had sold that day Having finished his work, Ray stood up and was on the way to back room. उसने अपने सारा काम complete कर लिया था और वो जाने ही वाला था. When a cold rush of air from a front door hit the back of his neck, बहुत जोर से बाहर से ठंडी हवा आई और उसके back में back of neck में लगी. He turned to meet a last minute shopper, but this his old wise eyes told him that this was not a shopper. He saw two men, one in his 20s and other closest to 50s. उसने दो मेन देखे एक 20 का था और एक 50 years का था. The young man remained at the door. The older man approached the counter. Young man gate के पास रहा और older man counter के पास आया with no sign of friendliness in his eyes. Ray was able to hide his growing fear. And he अपना fear को छुपा रहा था as he slowly pushed a notepad and a pencil across the counter. He smiled at unfriendly face. They pointed to his ears and shook his head from side to side as a quick look of surprise changed the man's face as he studied the notepad, then turned and said something to his friend. Ray used the chance to look closely at man, paying attention to the shape of the gun and a restless hand in the man's right coat pocket. Anger boiled with him. It was kept down by inner voice that said, Be still. We wrote the notepad. Usne notepad mein likha, Be still. May I help you? For the first time, the older man looked directly at Ray and smiled. A cruel mocking smile. They both understood why he was there. Why his friend remained at the door. The, they looked like men who were down on their luck and now ready to try something they would later be sorry about. The clock ticked on. Ray Calm wrote another message. Have you come to pick up a clock or a watch? Ray is me like that. Ki, kya aap yahan se koi clock ya watch lik le aayo? Then he pointed to the lone board filling filled with hanging clocks and, clocks and pocket watches. He was not a on broker but at the same time couldn't say no to the needy people who placed their old watches or clock before him for anything they could get he loaned more than he should they would be they would there when the owner wanted them back at the same price he had paid with no interest then the old man older man seemed a feel little easier took out his hand from his pocket and Quickly looked at the watch of on his wrist. He ma he much how much will you give me for this? The man wrote. Us admin ne likha ki tum is watch ke liye mujhe kitna pay karoge. Ray noticed a little shame in the grey eyes looking at him. The watch was nothing special and yet had great power. It has was something to exchange a way out of bad situation. Knowing that greed need had bought the man to his shop in the first play ray asked how much do you need it for the reply came fast on the notebook whatever it's worth ray reached into his cash box pulled a 50 dollar note and passed it to the man hand and as they shook hands ray looked and the man eyes they seemed to say thanks you thank you you both knew the watch wasn't that much before turning to leave, the man wrote, I'll be back to pick it up as soon as I can. Merry Christmas. The little story ended for half an hour with a clock strengthening altogether. The timepieces which had been looking on silently on the while rang out the time with such feelings Then Ray thought he could hear them. This sweet musical message was filled with hope the timeless message of peace on earth goodwill towards all and felt by the three men who stood in the clock shop thank you